still government money, at least until Friday. And as a result, you can imagine, car dealerships are very busy with people trying to get in before that cash goes away. Cron 4's Maureen Kelly with that part of the story. And I literally forgot to shave. That's how tired I was. The sales staff at Fremont Toyota have been working until dawn to keep up with buyer demand. Most of the nights we don't get out until about 4.30, 5 o'clock in the morning. And it's been paying off. The stack of files this woman is holding are all completed cash for clunker deals. And I have some more in my office. And that's not all. See those trucks facing us at the top of the screen? Those and all of these other vehicles you see in this row are gas guzzlers that have been traded in for new cars just this week. This line of cars is a quarter of a mile long. And take a look, there are three other rows just like them next door. That's one mile worth of clunkers off the road and ready for the scrap heap. We sold as many cars in a week, uh, basically then we sell in a month. And that's even with turning away some buyers, like this man whose car doesn't qualify for the program. Others, like this family here, couldn't find what they were looking for amongst the cars that are left on the lot. Also the car I'm looking for they usually stock around 750 new cars here. Right now, they're down to under 200. At the pace we're going, we could literally run out of cars in the next three days. In Fremont, Maureen Kelly, Cron 4 News.